Hello 3TC, hello everyone at the Willows. I hope you're happy and healthy and safe. Um, I was just thinking, it's been a while since I read you a book, so I thought I'd put that right this afternoon. Uh, I've got my magic story sack, so let's get on and see what the first story is. It's a big... Oh wow, it's a Dr Seuss book. Dr. Seuss uh, write, writes his books and illustrates his books, does all the pictures. Uh, he's done The Cat in the Hat, The Grinch, uh, The Horton books. And this one is Green Eggs and Ham and Other Stories. Um, Green Eggs and Ham, I think you probably know, is all about Sam I Am, trying to convince somebody to eat green eggs and ham. And the moral of the story is try something new because you might like it. He does like green eggs and ham. What I'm going to read to you today is a short story called Too Many Days. Did I ever tell you that Mrs McCabe has 23 sons and she named them all Dave? Well, she did. And that wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wants one, she calls out, Yoo-hoo! Come into the house, Dave! She doesn't get one. All 23 Daves of hers come on the run. This makes things quite difficult at the McCaves, as you can imagine, with so many Daves. And often she wishes that when they were born, she had named one of them Bodkin Van Horn. And one of them Hoos Foos, and one of them Snim, and one of them Hot Shot, and one Sunny Jim, and one of them Shadrach, and one of them Blinky, and one of them Stuffy, and one of them Stinky, another one Putt Putt, another one Moonface, another one Marvin O'Gravel Balloonface, and one of them Ziggy, and one Soggy Muff, one Buffalo Bill, and one Biffalo Buff, and one of them Sneepy, and one Weepy Weed, and one Paris Garters, and one Harris Tweed. And one of them Sir Michael Carmichael Zuck, and one of them Oliver Bolliver Butt, and one of them Zanzibar Buck Buck McFate, but she didn't do it, and now it's too late. Looks like Mum has had enough there. So I don't know what the message of the story is. I think my favourite name would have been Marvin O'Gravel Balloon Face, um, but she named them all Dave, and I think the message of the story is, don't name all your kids Dave. Or maybe there's not a message and it's just a funny story. That's the first book and I think the next one is another old favourite of mine. Let's see if we can just get it out. There we are. Yeah, The Shrinking of Treehorn. Now this is by Florence Parry Hyde and it is a story about a boy called Treehorn, another funny name. And if you can guess from the title, it's all about the day he starts shrinking. Let's see what happens. Something very strange was happening to Treehorn. The first thing he noticed was that he couldn't reach the shelf in his closet that he'd always been able to reach before, the one where he hid his candy bars and his bubble gum. Then he noticed that his clothes were getting too big. My trousers are all stretching or something, said Treehorn to his mother. I'm tripping on them all the time. Oh, that's too bad, dear, said his mother, looking into the oven. I do hope this cake isn't going to fall, she said. And my sleeves come down way below my hands, said Treehorn. So my shirts must be stretching too. Think of that, said Treehorn's mother. I just don't know why this cake isn't rising the way it should be. Mrs Abernell's cakes are always nice. They always rise. Treehorn started out of the kitchen. He tripped on his trousers, which indeed did seem to be getting longer and longer. At dinner that night, Treehorn's father said, Do sit up, Treehorn, I can hardly see your head. I am sitting up, said Treehorn. This is as far up as I come. I think I must be shrinking or something. Sorry my cake didn't turn out very well, said Treehorn's mother. That's very nice, dear, said Treehorn's father, politely. By this time, Treehorn could hardly see over the top of the table. Well, sit up, dear, said Treehorn's mother. I am sitting up, said Treehorn. It's just that I'm shrinking. What's that, dear? asked his mother. I'm shrinking, getting smaller, said Treehorn. If you want to pretend you're shrinking, that's all right, said Treehorn's mother. As long as you don't do it at the table. But I am shrinking, said Treehorn. Don't argue with your mother, Treehorn, said Treehorn's father. He does look a little smaller, said Treehorn's mother, looking at Treehorn. Maybe he is shrinking. Nobody shrinks, said Treehorn's father. Well, I'm shrinking, said Treehorn. Look at me. Treehorn's father looked at Treehorn. Why, you're shrinking, said Treehorn's father. Look, Emily, Treehorn is shrinking. He's much smaller than he used to be. 
Oh dear, said Treehorn's mother. First it was the cake and now it's this. Everything happens at once. I thought I was shrinking, said Treehorn. And he went into the den to turn on the television set. Treehorn liked to watch television. Now he lay on his stomach in front of the television set and watched one of his favourite programmes. He had 56 favourite programmes. During the commercials, Treehorn always listened to his mother and father talking together, unless they were having a boring conversation. If they were having a boring conversation, he listened to the commercials. Now he listened to his mother and father. He really is getting smaller, said Treehorn's mother. What will we do? What will people say? Why, they'll say he's getting smaller, said Treehorn's father. He thought for a moment. I wonder if he's doing it on purpose, just to be different. Well, why would he want to be different? asked Treehorn's mother. Treehorn started listening to the commercial. And we'll read more of the shrinking of Treehorn next time.